vacant, smoky room With your face reflecting bright green, bright and blues You know I kinda want to disappear with you But I don't think that is what I would usually do Yeah, there, eh? <laughs> First real test, I guess. There we go. Whoop. It's actually a waterfall. Occasionally. Occasionally, very occasionally. It's got me and Phil. Okay. It's a hard life. Yeah, it is a very hard life. At least yeah. he pays in pastry. She did alright, didn't she? That was quite a step. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> one to make you think for sure, so yeah. pretty impressed. Yeah. It's good to uh, well done. finally like, be out here testing it properly. Yeah, exactly. After all the stuff we put on with the suspension, the tyres, the wheels, exactly. dash plates. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, she had a lot of attention, so it's time to put her through the test. This is what it's all about. So bring it on. Let's see what we got. So that was like the first section where we had probably like done wheel lifts and I gotta say that traction control is quite impressive like you just keep on the gas and it, it just it feels the slip and then it just it just pushes forward so it's like yeah I know it's not as instantaneous as a diff lock but it it really does do the trick like it it kept us going even when we were cross axled and you know lifting wheels so and you can you can really feel it like kick in and you see it on the dash when it starts to slip it's like a, a second or something it, it's it flashes up and then you feel it push through it <laughs> it's pretty cool
Looks good, you got plenty of space. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you're now on a small rock. Okay. Now, hold on. Now, if you can, can you go? Yeah, that way. Yeah. Now you can make a turn. Okay. Yeah. You're cleared. Keep coming. Okay. Should be good now, right? <laughs> I was a little bit intense. I was suddenly we just got to this very um, narrow bit here, and that stone or rock rather was sticking right out. So we had to take a high trail up this bank here, and then it just got a little bit, <laughs> a little bit too steep. A couple turns backwards, forwards, but we're good now. Having fun. Hell yeah. <laughs> it feels like a long time since you've done this, especially yeah. in these climbs. Well, also being away from your home country, yeah. you kind of, you have that sort of little gremlin in your totally. mind. You do not want to mess it up. <laughs> this car can make some quite sharp turns for you. Yeah. I've noticed yeah. that, yeah. <laughs> Get out of a tricky situation. It's really good. I do love the wheel lift as well. <laughs> that was a serious wheel lift. <laughs> I love a wheel lift. Amazing. Yes, guys, do let me know like in the comments. Do you prefer a wheel lift or flex? I want to know the answer. Yeah, me too. Let me know. Woohoo! Let's have a little talk about these set of bash plates or Under Armour, whatever you want to call it, from HEP Off-Road, H-E-P Off-Road. Yeah, so we've got the full set, which includes the three main bash plates and the two side wings, as you can see here. Um, the front one being made of stainless steel, looks the part two, as well as obviously protecting us from rocks and things on the trail or anything coming up for that matter. It's gonna give it a hell of a lot more strength than the original weak thin steel ones that were on there before and you've also got the big under tray to protect the engine and sump and then the the remaining third one which goes even further back you've got this front one made from stainless steel and the other two made from regular steel but powder coated black all the same thickness 
and um, yeah they're really going to do the job of protecting us out on the trails which is awesome especially when you've got a car which hasn't got massive ground clearance and you know you're running regular sized tires and regular size sort of suspension or height suspension or with uh, just a bit of a lift it's always handy to have some proper protection under there in case you do come up against anything solid like this rock for example <laughs> that would do you some damage if you hit that at the wrong angle you know could be sump could be steering arms could be you know whatever it is you don't want that when you're out in the middle of the sticks so james has started this business producing these um bash plates they're from laser cut steel and uh, actually you guys can get a five percent discount at the moment available for the gen 3 also going to be available for the Gen 4, it's in production at the moment. Um, actually looking for somebody with a Gen 4 to, to you know to design it around. So if you if you're that person, then yeah, do get in touch with James and I'm sure he'll have the um Gen 4 stuff sorted out before we know it. Uh, yeah, otherwise really happy with it. Like we haven't actually used it yet because I'm obviously such a careful driver. It's nice to know that it's there if we do need it. Gives you that extra peace of mind and security out on the trail. So if you want to get the five percent discount, just quote JK when you contact James using the email below and uh, yeah, he'll sort you out. Well, these bash plates, they come in at 320 pounds. Uh, you can get your 5% discount, of course, which makes a bit of a difference, always handy. So thanks James for sorting that out with JK. Right, we are at our finale of the project costings. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> it's finally time to figure out if we broke the budget or stayed under, you know, let's see what actually happened right now because our previous total was 9,864.68. So adding the HEP off road Under Armour, uh, which is a 320, the new total comes in at 10,184.68. So yeah, we just broke it, guys. Uh, well done, those who, who guessed right, because I know a lot of you did. And uh, some thought we would be just under. But yeah, the majority thought we were going to go over. So <laughs> well done, guys. So I want to take a moment to say this project has been amazing like the whole process has taken us a couple of months you know, from start to finish from buying a stock standard car from doing all the maintenance you know doing the suspension the wheels and tires uh kitting it out with all the overland gear and all i just want to say a big thank you to all our sponsors for the the help they put into this series it's been absolutely amazing i uh, wouldn't hesitate to do something like it again so yeah it's been fantastic uh yeah and big news i don't know probably a few of you know already from the stories and things but Maisie here, she will be going up for sale at the end of the project, which is coming up very soon because we are on our trip around Spain and Portugal now. We have to rescue the caravan, she's going to tow the caravan back for us. And then when we get home to England, she's going for sale. So if any of you are interested, then do contact me, contact me right away, you know, sooner rather than later before we start advertising and things and we can we can talk about that so yeah she is she's gonna be up for sale we love her but uh it was always the plan so oh flies so she's uh she's got to go but she's been she's been a dream like it just drives so comfortably so quietly um it performs well off-road if we've as we found out today which is amazing like uh, i wasn't sure what it was going to be like but it's really cool with that traction control as well uh you know normal in a normal truck it doesn't have traction control you get cross axled and you, you kind of had it but this it just sort of pushes on through after like a half a second which is pretty cool and um yes taking us everywhere in, in comfort and style of course um christina will be very sad to see her go because I am. she's uh <laughs> well explain i am very sad <laughs> i must say this has been the most comfortable car i have driven in and she has given me the most confidence actually to be behind the steering wheel again and it is going to be very sad to let her go but we can't keep them all. <laughs> we must get on to Project Molly. Exactly, there's very exciting things coming up. That, <laughs> is, our, that is our winter project yeah. with the aim to, uh, to be able to get out on a trip again yeah. by the springtime. Oh, giving. I, I'm, I'm going to swallow some flies here. I also want to say, or both of us want to say a massive thank you to our Patreons you know, for making this all possible. So thank mm. you so much and all of you that came to the, uh, the Patreon meetup. Uh, those that weeks was ago. so much fun, guys. So thank good you. To meet some, some new faces and things. If anyone wants to find out more about Patreon, I'll stick a link at the top now. Check Good that thing. out. Otherwise, yeah. we'll be seeing you very soon in the next video. Yeah, what are we going to do? What are we going to eat? Let's I don't keep know. That a surprise. <laughs> Adios.